We're back with uh, conversations right here on Plus TV Africa. Um, I guess he's already standing by, but let's quickly inform you that long queues uh, for premium motor spirit, popularly called petrol, uh, have resurfaced in filling stations across Lagos State today. Uh, yesterday, Monday rather. This is coming two weeks after long queues were first spotted in the federal capital territory Abuja and neighboring Nasarawa states and Niger states, amongst others. It was earlier reported uh, that the president, uh, Muhammad Buhari, had approved the increase of uh, the freight rate uh, being paid to transporters of petroleum products in a bid to clear uh, the persistent fuel queues by motorists in parts uh, of the country. This is an increase of the freight uh, costs. All marketers have repeatedly uh, complained about the lingering fuel queues in Abuja, uh, the center of the nation, the capital uh, of Nigeria, and also neighboring states as Niger State and uh, Nassau State, among others. Now, this they say is due to the inability of the petroleum product transporters to purchase the diesel required to run their trucks. This is a quite bizarre situation. Now, to help us analyze this, let's welcome Chief Chinedu Ukadike, who is a national public relations officer of the Independent Petroleum Marketers Association of Nigeria. Thank you very much for your time, uh, Chief Ukadike. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, good morning, Nigeria. All right. Uh, what exactly is going on? Well, uh, like you just uh, uh, rightly pointed out, uh, there are a few good cases in Abuja, you know, predominantly uh, last two weeks. And uh, it uh, went down a little bit uh, last week. And it's also resurfacing. Mm -hmm. Now, the issue of uh, uh, Lagos is worrisome. <laughs> because, yeah, it's very, very worrisome because uh, in Lagos is where we normally uh, pick our product because uh, it's, uh, it's along the coastal area. I also want to let you know that uh, Nigeria is heavily dependent on the portion of petroleum products. And the one that petroleum products is really important. The LNPC is the sole importer of uh, petroleum products. Uh, normally use coastal area, coastal mm -hmm. depots, you know, to be able to uh, discuss this product. And those coastal areas are Lagos, uh, Calabar, uh, Port Harcourt, or especially our government. So you, you will find out that uh, the NFPC, 21 depots that are built across the country that are supposed to be supplying petroleum products around uh, the new sanctuary of this country has not been working for the past one year. Because of issue of pipeline vandalization and insufficient flow and loss of products. So the NMPC have devised a link of using uh, the BDO private uh, depot owners who situated their tax farms in uh, coastal areas to be able to collect petroleum products. So it is very, very uh, pertinent that uh, marketers will move from a dry area to the wet area, which is uh, uh, the videos, the videos that are located around, along the, the coastal area. So it is uh, very, very wonderful. And in the cost of this one, Secondly, the cost of this diesel is being sold at a rate of 700 to 716 uh, naira to 800 naira now in the private depots. It's only NNPC. It's only NNPC that is the sole distributor of uh, diesel now in Nigeria and some importer. So marketers are not uh, opportune to be able to take this petroleum product called diesel from PPMC. Uh, an uh which is most of the different depots we have in Nigeria. So there's no the cost of this is close to like five million naira to forty million naira now. And uh, it is very, very difficult for marketers to travel from the dry area to the wet area in the high cost of this because to move between with one time from uh can to Lagos will cost you close to four hundred thousand in terms of this guys. And uh, if you reduce this uh, cost, you will find out that 
a man that is selling petroleum products, a marketer that is selling petroleum products in Kano, supposed to be selling his petroleum products at the cost of 180 to 190 naira. Because we normally buy this petroleum product at uh, 185, 158, and 159. So if you add the cost of transport, which is almost 30 to 20 naira, it's giving you around 180 something naira. So I don't know how we are being expected to to sell petroleum products at 165, which is government method three. So these are the logistics problem and the technical problem that has been uh, disturbing the future of information and um, people of petroleum products in the country. Yes, we are the independent marketers. We are giving Jim Gabbett as we are here to do our business. We are committed in serving the people. Once there is petroleum products, I want to tell you definitely we will sell. We are also profit directed in as much uh, government is uh, regulating our industry. But we are very, very aware that with the commodity we are selling has a reflective uh, system in the economy, economy. So that is why we try as much as possible, even in this kind of stringent uh, conditions, to continue to supply certain products when they are available. All right, President Mohamedou Buhari had uh, earlier approved the uh, increase of in the freight uh, 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 cost um, in a bit to uh, uh, help us reach the situation of the uh, petroleum transporters, those who have to move the products, like you said, from the coastal areas to um, the, uh, the, the re retail outlets, you want to call it that. Um, so what, what do you think this will do? Uh, is this a positive step, and do you expect that this will have an impact on the situation in a matter of days, weeks, or months? This is talking about the increase in the freight rate uh, being paid to transporters of these special products, which was recently approved by President Buhari. Well, uh, well, well uh, that, is a much, that is a much harder approach. Uh, our problem in Nigeria is not increased. It's to find the root cause of this problem, or the immediate cause of this problem. Our refineries are not working. The question the president would have done is to ensure that our refineries are working. And what the uh, refineries are working, in other context we drive in, and the pipelines will be restored. The issue of a marketer traveling from Kano will not be will not be there any longer. Because the pipelines which the federal government has lied already can be able to take care of it uh, seriously. So I also believe that what the president would have done is to declare a state of emergency in our refineries and ensure that those refineries work, the pipeline work. This will put up, uh, put up a lot of uh, vehicles on the road. It will also put up a, 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 all this logistics problem we are facing. It will also reduce this issue of uh, increase of uh, the flight rate because if the refineries are working. I wonder how we buy petroleum products uh, this, the, uh, this day at the cost of uh, 800, 800, 850 naira. So that, that is not the problem because you keep on increasing. When this, uh, the, the, the diesel is increasing, and as far as the crude oil is increasing, the national market, as far as we are getting uh, the, the, the dollar is high, all these things are factors that the state the cost of uh, product, the landing cost of product in Nigeria. And uh, as the landing cost, cost of the crude oil uh, cost is going high, the vapor taxes also come, uh, they become high, the taxes become high. And uh, the marketers who are bringing in this product, uh, like, like you said, will also increase their prices. Our uh, marketers like me, the business athletes like us, we don't have any option that remain in business to buy at their pay. If product is 150 naira, you will not expect an independent marketer to sell 160. President Buhari, yes, he has done well, although the, his approval has not been implemented, where the marketers have not sold the approval, and uh, it has not also been communicated to us, we have heard on the press meeting that yes, he has approved. But we want action. The action is how do we stop this uh, incident increment? How do we stop? This issue of uh, 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 this cost is to encourage Motola refinery. It's to encourage our 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 local uh, refinery and be able to put them in stream.
to, to produce our food oil here in Nigeria. Is it for export, not only for local consumption? So I want to confirm that the president has done to release uh, market out of this sort I will thank him. But we, I want to also reassure him that this will not stop this instant instant quickly. The earlier the better, where the president will ensure that before the final we have in Nigeria are working. Our good oil, which will export to other countries to refine for us and bring back to us as a finished product at, at their cost. Why all our dollars is testing petroleum products that we are also manufacturing the crude oil, we are producing our Nigerian oil production companies. We must allow our refineries to Those people in the refineries are taking salary. Those managers in the refineries are responsible to the citizen. This is part of our economic package. We must ensure that the family is put to work, the pipelines are working. Because if you look at the way the pipeline is being designed, you will find out from system 2A, which is uh, uh, for depth and the is there. There are pipelines that is from here, even up to the pump station in Yola. It means that trucks does not need to travel from Yola to that petrol product in Potato. Because if the pipelines are good, Products will be formed from Potaka Refinery Depot to Aba Depot, from Aba Depot to Potaka Depot. Okay. From Potaka Depot, from Aba Depot to Enugu Depot. Hmm. Okay, uh, uh, Chief Ukadika, so, you there? From Enugu Depot mm -hmm. to, to Makode, from Makode to Yola. All right, Chief, are you there? Okay, we seem to be having a bit of an uh, uh, interruption. I think uh, uh, the network has played a fast one on Chief Ukadiki Chiru. We'll try and see if we can get him back. Um, we know that the, um, the independent petroleum uh, marketers had a press conference at Ibman House in Ejibo, Lagos, um, yesterday, where uh, they explained uh, the, the, what they call their predicament with the current price of PMS at the private depot. Uh, I was hoping to ask Chief to to try and link, because he's talking about the price of diesel, uh, for the benefit of the public, try and link both that, that, that view or that point he made and then the price of uh, PMS at the private depot. Is, 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 is that what has been affected by the high cost of diesel, which is affecting the trucks, or the trucks are the ones that have to now lift the product for the private depots to the retailing outlets then so w w what's the what's the relationship uh, chief do we have you back all right anyway uh, so so what, what the independent petroleum marketers said in that press conference is that um they're explaining why uh, that with the current price uh of of pms that they can't uh, there's no way they can sell less than 180 naira per liter is what they said um you know so they're advising their members to uh, sell at a sustainable price within what it called, because I have a, a statement from from the Ipman Secretary. Uh, it says Ipman Secretary Ipman LSD rather, uh, Secretary Ipman LSD uh, Akim Balogun is saying that um, members are advised to sell at a sustainable uh, price within the environment, just to make sure that they should make sure the price is on their pump. Um, that is what uh, they are saying. So it, it, it's a kind of like a confusing situation, a difficult situation at that. If it's 180 naira, that that's the problem. Uh, I, I don't know. Maybe Nigerians will be willing to have uh, to pay that just so they can continue life as normal. Uh, Chief Okadike, I was uh, going to ask you, sir. You've talked about the high cost of um, diesel. I was going to ask you to, to, to also address the issue of uh, the, the 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 cost of PMS, the price of PMS at the private depots. Um, you've you've talked about the depots and of course the fact that. You lift in the products on the coastal areas as well. Uh, so, can you can you draw a relationship between the cost of diesel and the cost of the PMS at the local depots? How it's affecting what we are seeing right now? Okay, it's, yeah, uh, the are not controlled, although they are great, but they are people who establish. 
Abbiamo avuto a me multipli the independent market all right uh, the, the 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 connection is is pretty poor we're sorry about that your connection we um we'll have to bring the the conversation to an end at this point but we would have have another another time to talk about this because it's an unfolding story of course our guest uh, who is the national publicity public relations officer of the independent petroleum marketers association of nigeria has said that um it, it, the the directive by the president for the freight rate paid to transport has to be increased is uh, not been implemented that he says it it's a military approach though he feels it would have some impact but he also would like to see uh, uh, long-standing and uh, wide-ranging reforms, uh, for instance, Nigeria refining its own crude to have diesel and PMS as petrol uh, refined and produced in the country, he says that's a more long-term approach. But anyway, let's hope that the President's Directive, which came some days ago, will be swiftly and quickly implemented. Uh, I don't know what they're waiting for, yeah, because Nigerians do not have the time to wait any longer. We'll be back with more conversations looking at the current situation uh, of uh, INEC and what they have to do after that interim court order issued yesterday. Stay with us. <laughs>